This is Sunday School for 3-3 three, three of 24. It is 2 Kings 3. I call it Jehoshaphat and the Ditches. And um, the memory verse is Ephesians 3.20. Exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think. That's what our God can do. So Ahab and Jezebel have died. And their son Joram has taken over the country of Israel. And he is evil. He's not as bad as his parents were, but he's not good either. He still is into idol worship. So he has been, his dad was always getting the wool from 100,000 rams and 100,000 lambs given to him every year from the king of Moab. But once Ahab has died, the king of Moab, whose name is Misha, says, I'm not going to give you that stuff anymore. And so Joram wants to go to war against the king of Moab. So he asks Jehoshaphat, will you go with me? And Jehoshaphat says, yes, how shall we go? And he says, well, we can get the king of Edom to go with us too. Let's go through the desert of Edom to get there. So they got into the desert of Edom and they walked around in a circle for a whole week. And by the end of the week, since they're in the desert, there was no water. And they were very thirsty, and their animals were very, very thirsty. And Jehoshaphat said, isn't there a, a prophet from God that can help us? And they found out that there was a man named Elisha. They said, you know Elisha, he used to pour water on Elijah's hands. He was his helper. And now he's a prophet. We could ask him what to do about the water situation. So... Um, they, when they called Elisha in, Elisha looked at Joram and said, why don't you go to your parents' old idols? Go to Baal or Asherah. See if they'll get you some water. Why are you coming to God? He said, I don't even want to be with you, Joram. But because Jehoshaphat's here, and Jehoshaphat's a good king, I will ask God what to do. Could you have someone come and play a harp for me? So they've had somebody come to play a harp. And while the person was making the music, God spoke to Elisha. And this is what he said. He said, um, I will fill this valley with pools of water. There will be no wind. There will be no rain. But the valley is going to be full of water. It's going to be so easy for God. And also, God is going to overthrow all of the cities of Moab by you. And you can cut down the trees, stop up the springs, ruin the fields. Um, he is going to give you all of the land of Moab. So, they went to bed that night just counting on God to do a miracle. He didn't know how he was going to do it. How can you get water in a valley with no rain and no wind? But in the morning when they went out, every ditch was full of water. And they had plenty of water to drink for themselves and plenty of water for their animals to drink. Now the Moabites figured out that these people were coming to fight against them. So they gathered together their troops and they're coming to fight against God's people. And they came to where they were getting close to where that valley was filled with water. And the sun had just come up. And that red sun was shining off of that water. And they said to each other, Oh, the king of of Judah, the king of Israel, the king of Edom, all came together. They must have killed each other because look at that red blood all over this valley. It wasn't red blood. It was God's water. And it was because of the sunrise. But they thought it was blood. And they said, they must all be dead. Let's just go down there and take their possessions. We'll take their tents and we'll take their horses. Let's go. And so they weren't prepared. And they came down into the valley to take the stuff. And God's people chased them out of there. And God's people won the war.
And one of the things kids really like to think about is one of the things that they won the war with was slingshots. They had people that were really good with slingshots. Dear Father God, help us to know when it seems to be impossible that you can't do anything, that you can really do anything, anything, everything, that you could just make water appear in a valley and that that water could be tricked to look like blood so by your sunrise and that people would be tricked. Thank you, o Lord, that you are with your people and that you guide us and direct us and that Elisha was there to tell them the truth. In Jesus' name, amen.